Hi, everybody. We're here at the Radisson Blue in Bloomington, looking forward to what I hope uh, is going to be a good night alongside uh, John Justice here from Twin Cities News Talk. How are you feeling uh, going into today, John, if I may ask? I'm feeling pretty confident. So I was uh, right about 2016. I was wrong about 2020. I hope I'm right about 2024 again, but I'm feeling pretty good so far. So the media is uh, behind us here getting all set up. Uh, obviously, polls don't close until 8 o'clock, but already 1.1 uh, million Minnesotans have cast their ballots. Those are the numbers released from the Secretary of State's office. And what do you think that at this point that that has told us about how things seem to be a, a bit different uh, this time around, don't they? There seems to be a lot of enthusiasm this time around uh, compared to last time. And with the makeup of this whole election cycle, leading up to today, I think that everybody's kind of sick and tired of it. And regardless of what side you're on, and today's the day where they can let that point be known. You know, so much of us just as observers in all of this are waiting for the opportunity to go and, and do something and express our voice. And I think this time around, it means more than it has in the past previous elections. And Minnesota in particular, it seems quite interesting, obviously being since 1972, uh, since the state has turned red, Trump was close uh, within, within just a couple of points uh, back in 2016. Obviously, that was seven points uh, back in, in 2020. But from what you have got a sense of just, just Minnesota-wise, do you think, um, I, I've seen Trump signs, for example, where I never did ever mm -hmm. before. Do you think people seem to be a bit more brave this time around? I think they I think they do. It's interesting when it comes to just first off the, the signage aspect, because like in my neighborhood, there's been hardly any. But we also know that the GOP really changed the way that they conducted this campaign and targeting those low propensity voters. And so they weren't going and door knocking on your typical Republican voters that vote every single time around. So be that as it may, I really expect that we're going to get a high turnout once again this year. And I think because of those low propensity voters coming out, that the regular voters, Republican voters, are going to be turning out too. The big question that I have is, how many Democrats may be, you know, staying at home this time around because of the frustration here in the state or, you know, nationwide because of the way that they've conducted their, you know, their whole election process and their candidates. And you have to kind of wonder if the weather will play a role uh, today, yeah. you know, kind of a, a rainy, dreary day as people await. I would say that we'll know something soon, but I can't actually say that we'll know something soon. Can can we? <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll see once polls close at eight o'clock here tonight. But uh, tell people we're going to be broadcasting live from seven to ten on Twin Cities News Talk where they can go ahead and, and stream that and listen in tonight. Yeah, so of course we'll be on AM 1130 and 103.5 uh, FM, but really we're wanting everybody to go on over to the iHeartRadio app and listen to Twin Cities News Talk on the live stream. You can get there from TwinCitiesNewsTalk.com or if you download the free iHeartRadio app, you can listen there or you can just do the traditional way, like I said, and just listen to terrestrial radio on AM 1130 and 103.5 FM. But we hope, regardless if you listen online or you listen through the radio, we just hope that you tune into the broadcast because we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I think, yep, absolutely. So again, our coverage... Uh, uh, with John begins at 7 o'clock tonight, but we'll keep you uh, informed on Alpha News. Follow us on X and Facebook and all of our other uh, platforms as well on YouTube. Look forward to a, a good night. So we'll uh, be yeah, talking to you soon.